go over trimming a poodle tail with you. So this is Calliope, she's my poodle, and she's in a stylized leg trim, but now I, I need to scissor this tail in because it's just a bit wonky. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my clipper on a 10, and I'm gonna just clean off on each side of the rectum. I'm gonna go about an inch above and about an inch below. I am not shaving this area here. I don't wanna give her a landing strip. I just wanna clean right here by the rectum, or as I say, the little poop shoe, just to clean her up. So once we have that, now many students ask, not just students, longtime groomers don't know how to set in how big of a tail band there should be. There's an easy way to determine that. So you have a two inch comb. I place it right under the rectum and I lay the tail down. So right here is where I'm gonna start to leave my line. So now I can move the tail. And now I shave backwards. And I'm using a 10 blade because I don't want to shave too close. And if you want, you can end right at the body or you can get a little fancy. I'm just gonna fix this line. And that's gonna match my line on the bottom. So now I have that complete circle. Now I like to go up into the body. So what I do, stay, is just hold her little butt, butt cheeks apart and I come up on an angle to the center same thing on this side, up into the center. And that gives me this nice little V going up into the body. And what that does is it just connects the tail more to the body so that it's not looking like it's coming up separate. Fix my line. Make sure everything is even all the way around. Turn that off. I'm gonna comb this down. I'm gonna scissor along the V just to fix that edge. Blend that. Now I'm gonna comb this all down. Here's the end of her tail right here. And I've got about an inch and a half at the end, but she does have a longer tail, so I'm gonna go almost to the tip. And I cut that much off. I make a wish flower. I love to make my wish flowers. And then I make a wish. So. Then I hold the tail up by the end and I comb all this down. Now, I have all this hair that's laying on my clipper part and I'm gonna scissor all that off to expose the clipper part of my tail. And I'm just gonna put a slight little bevel here, cause that's gonna help push all this hair up. So if I put a little beveled edge on it, see how it wants to hold the tail up? 
I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna come across, put a little beveled edge around it, and now the tail hair is standing up all the way around. Now I'm gonna comb through again and see how that pops that coat right up. Now I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna finish that edge. This is gonna help this tail stand up better. The tail hair, not the tail. She controls that. Tail has a mind of its own. Come all this out. Fix this bevel here. Come up to the center part of the tail. And hers is easy because it's half black, half white. So it just kind of gives me that nice blending line right in the middle. And I'm just gonna come around. They don't actually get a ball at the end of their tail. It's more of a Christmas tree type thing. But you can work with the shape depending on what the owner wants and what actually fits the dog. Shake it out. Look for any wayward hairs that need trimming. Up to the top. Now they say that a poodle tail and a poodle head should be at the same height. So when you have your poodle head up and your tail up, they should be about the same. You definitely don't want your tail higher than your head. And that's how you get a nice poodle shape. I hope that helps.